even though the Fed isn't expected to increase its benchmark interest rate and won't hold a press conference or release updated dot plots with predictions about the economy, investors will be honing in on a few key things in the policy statement. What might the Fed signal about the path of rate hikes for the rest of the year and heading into 2018? News Pulse Finance will have the statement for you live at 2 o'clock p.m. ET. All you'll have to do is refresh this page. Unemployment has held solidly below 5% for over a year, a level many economists consider to be near full employment. The unemployment rate sank to 4.2% in September, close to its lowest level in a decade. However, the number of U.S. jobs shrank, as non-farm payrolls fell by 33,000 mostly due to hurricane-related disruptions. In the September statement, the FOMC noted that the hurricanes would affect the near-term data but have no material impact on the medium-term outlook, write Michael Hansen, Brittany Bauman, Gennady Goldberg and Mason Issa of TD Securities. In the November statement we expect the FOMC to acknowledge the distortions to recent data, but continue to largely look past them. It seems likely that the committee will write off the recent decline in payrolls. Meanwhile, the Fed's preferred inflation reading has continued to run below its 2% target. The core personal consumption expenditures index remained at 1.3% year over year in September. Another measure of inflation, the core consumer price index, held steady at 1.7% for the month. One risk is that the committee could play up concern about the inflation outlook, consistent with public comments from some Fed officials and the September meeting minutes. Note Hansen, Bauman, Goldberg, and Issa. Such a change in tone in the FOMC statement would be dovish. Given that few changes are expected to the Fed's policy statement, it will likely be overshadowed by President Donald Trump's imminent announcement of his nominee for the next Fed chair, who would take the helm of the Fed in February if confirmed by the Senate.